Hey guys, um, this is Retro Collector 101 back here with another video. Um, this video is a bit different. Uh, I just decided to give you guys a bit of an update on uh, Sony because I received the news and it kind of shocked me a bit, uh, especially since I just made a video on the PSP, uh, comparing it with the uh, PS Vita. So what's happening? Well, Sony is closing up sh on the online store for the PS3, PS Vita, and PSP. So that may not sound as a big thing, but if you look deeper into it, especially for those retro collectors like you guys, um, especially for the one device called the PSP Go that I just uh, talked about in my previous video, um, it's kind of a bit of a problem for it. Um, because the only way you can get games for that system is by downloading it online. And um, now that that store is going to close up, and I think here, sorry, I'm just on the uh, page. Um, I think for the PSP, it is going to close, um, yeah, close to the end of this year. Uh, is it July or something? Okay, so yeah, so the PlayStation Portable... Uh, will also retire on the 2nd of July 2021. So that means that the shop where you can download games and buy games for the PSP Go, more specifically, also for the other PSPs, um, will close up shop on July 2nd, 2021. And that's actually quite soon. So I wish that they were uh, maybe took a page from like Blackberry, for instance, and told us much earlier um, because now... Um, I'm not really into emula emulation, and I'm going to get to that in the future, uh, in a bit. Um, but uh, basically, so I like buying my games, like the real games. And for the PSP Go, you know, games aren't, games aren't that expensive, so I was planning on buying them over time. But uh, now that you cannot even buy them by uh, going through the tedious process of connecting your device or PSP Go, for instance, to your computer, then going to the store. Well, since that won't even work now, uh, well, starting on July 2nd, I don't know what's like what to do, really. Um, for you guys who don't have the PSP Go, uh, but are planning on getting one, um, and if you're not planning on emulating and actually playing real games, uh, then I suggest you to buy it as soon as possible before the store closes up because when it closes up, you won't be able to get games anymore, basically, like for the system. Now, how about for the PS Vita? Uh, well, for the PS Vita, I feel it's a bit too early because the PS Vita is not that old. It came out, I think, in 2012. I'm probably getting my facts on wrong, uh, 2012 or 2011. So... I honestly think that it should have been a bit later. Um, now, if you guys uh, have a PS Vita, there are a lot of great games on the system uh, that are actually free that you should definitely consider getting um, before um, the store closes up. One of them is called um, Sackboy. Uh, I forgot which one exactly, but Sackboy is a classic, and there's actually a free version of Sackboy on the PS Vita, so it's just a quick free pickup, um, so definitely go get that. But again, you know, memory cards are expensive on the PS Vita, so I know storage is very um, precious for you guys, so um, if you, I guess if you have a lot of storage, then go ahead and pick it up, but uh, if you don't like Sackboy, then sure, you don't have to. But anyways, um, for the PS Vita, why don't we actually, no, why don't we talk about what you will be able to still do and what you won't have to do since I have that page right here. So you will still be able to re-download and play previous purchased game titles. So that means if you have, let's just say, uh, I don't know, uh, if you had Persona 4 on the PS Vita, but you didn't have it downloaded because, you know, PS Vita storage is expensive. Um, when the shop closes, that doesn't mean you cannot re-download it since you already own it. So that is one positive. Uh, the second positive is that you will still be able to access previously purchased video and media content. So same thing. So... Um, 
like if you already purchased something, like I said before, on the PS3, PS Vita, or PSP, um, when the store closed, like before that, uh, you can still re-download it. Same thing. Uh, next, you will still be able to redeem game and PlayStation Plus vouchers. So, like, uh, let's just say in the game, you know, you have PlayStation Plus. Well, you can still redeem those vouchers that you um, want plan on redeeming in the future. So that won't be affected in any way by this closure. Uh, now, next, you will still be able to re-download and play claimed game titles through PlayStation Plus as long as you remain a member of the service. So if you do not know, PlayStation Plus actually gives you free games. Uh, so like on the PS Vita, you got a new game every month. So those games will, um, you, well, you'll still be able to redeem them since uh, if you're still a member of PlayStation Plus, of course. So now why don't we move on to the negatives. So what will you lose access to? So you will no longer be able to purchase PS3, PS Vita, and PSP digital content, including games and video content. Uh, so I talked a bit about that at the beginning, if you skip through that. So uh, for the PSP, that will mainly affect the PSP Go, because on the PSP, uh, I think you'd probably get UMDs instead. On the PS Vita, uh, that's a bit of a downside, considering how new the PS Vita is, so it's a bit sad uh, that it's happening so early um like it didn't even stay up for 10 years it's just hard to think um, and then for the ps3 it's like it's not really a biggie uh, maybe if you guys were planning on getting more ps3 online games i know i wasn't um the reason why i don't feel it's a big deal is because a lot of these games have revisions on the ps4 or now ps5 so like i don't really see a purpose and also uh, usually games don't go well you cannot really buy games online on the ps3 especially for great deals um, but I know if you go to your random thrift store like locally uh, you can probably find these games for cheap um, obviously the hard copy so that's why I don't think it's a, that big of a deal for the ps3 now um, the next thing is that you will no longer be able to make in-game purchases through games on PS3, PS Vita, and PSP. So same goes for that, like not really a big deal. Um, I know myself, I didn't really make that many in-game purchases, or if not any at all for the PS3, PS Vita, and PSP, I think the main thing that will be affecting me is buying the games, like buying like the real game, the real me, so yeah. But tell me about what you may be thinking for that in the comment section below. So next, you will no longer be able to redeem PSN wallet fund vouchers, um, so gift cards on PS3, PS Vita, or PSP devices once PlayStation Store and purchase functionality for these devices close. So your PSN wallet funds will remain in your PSN account, but you will only be able to use your wallet funds to purchase PS4 and PS5 products on uh, PlayStation Store on the web um, now. So that means no, you cannot spend your gift cards or etc. on PSP, PS Vita, and PS3 things, basically. So these are the common questions that you'll probably be asking. Uh, how do I access my own games? So uh you can download your own content onto your ps3 ps vita or psp device um, by accessing the download list on the respective device so that's one thing that you can do so you can basically re-download uh games that you already have pretty much um now another common one is uh, I am only active on PS3, PS Vita, or PSP devices, and do not currently own a PS4 or PS5. What will happen to any funds left in my PSN wallet after the closure of the PS uh, PlayStation Store for these devices? So your PSN wallet funds will remain in your PSN account, but you will only be able to use your wallet funds to purchase PS4 and PS5 products on um, PlayStation Store on the web.
so only on PlayStation 4 and PlayStation 5 games. Um, so I hope that's not you who basically only owns PS3, PSP, and PS Vita, because if that is the case, then buy all your games now with your existing funds, because um, after, uh, what is it now? After July 2nd for the PSP and PS Vita, uh, no, sorry, after July 2nd for the PSP and PlayStation 3, you won't be able to use those funds. And same goes for the Vita, but on the 27th of August, 2021. So I'll actually put those dates up right here, right now, just so that you can see them. Uh, if I didn't, I'll probably just um, put the uh, dates in the comment section below. Anyways, uh, so, those are pretty much the big questions. Uh, another one is, will I still be able to buy, purchase cross-buy content following the closure of the PlayStation Store and purchase functionality on PS3, PS Vita, and PSP? So, yes, you will still be able to purchase um, cross-buy content through PlayStation Store on the web uh, and PlayStation app or on PSP4 uh, and PS5 consoles and access both the PS4 versions and the PS3 slash PS Vita slash PSP versions. So now I think those are the main ones. Uh, you can check the others um, on articles or from PlayStation themselves. Uh, I know they'll have good information. Uh, if you have any questions about this matter, you can pop that in the comment section below. Anyways, in conclusion, what do I have to say about this? Well. Again, we saw this coming. I just didn't expect that it would happen this soon, especially for the PS Vita, because I personally thought myself that similar to the PSP, they would just only open the store on the website. So you could only purchase those games on the website, maybe not on the device. I was hoping maybe for that to happen for the PS Vita, um, like how it did for the PSP a few years ago. Um, for the PS3, I honestly don't care, like, sure, you can close that store because I do not, um, like, I don't really use that console myself, um, since I do have a PS4 and, uh, it, though it can play the majority of the PS3 games, but if it affects you, um, then I'm sorry because, uh, this will be bad, but Lastly, I talked a bit about emulation um, before and I said that I'll get back to it. So just so you guys know, emulation is great on the PlayStation Plus, uh, sorry, PSP and PS Vita. So basically if the store closes, you didn't get any games and you don't know what to do, well, you can actually emulate a lot of maybe GBA games, DS games, and I'm pretty sure there will be a way to get free games um, in the future uh, by drill breaking on these handhelds. So that is something that you will be able to do. So if you have a PSP Go or you want to buy a PSP Go, sorry, in the future, that is not the end of the world. You will still be able to emulate. So that's why I think that um, maybe the PSP Go value may go down, but that doesn't mean that you shouldn't buy the handheld. For the others, like the PS Vita and the normal PSP 3000 or Street Series, whatever, you can still emulate on those. That is actually a lot of fun. And for those um, handhelds, um, you can actually uh, buy the physical version. So that's fine. Anyways, uh, that's pretty much it. I think I covered just about anything. Uh, if you have any questions, please pop them in the comment section below. Uh, I hope that you enjoyed this video. Totally different. From the others if you did please smash the like button and hit the subscribe button down below if you want to see future content and anyways guys have a nice day and bye